Some men aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Hi, it's Abel975, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on Xbox. Today I'm bringing you some footage, including combat clips from Growlands Glory, um, myself, Dark Owl, Scrub Killer, as um, I regale you with the tale of the Salt War. So basically, Selfish One has decided that he doesn't like the Imperial Dragon Knights. Uh, they are ex-IED, he's always had a beef with IED because they made him kill on sight because he shot the Amberger in a lawless system. It's kind of odd being made a kill on sight criminal for short shooting someone in a lawless situation. But that's how he ended up being on KOS and since being Chaos for IED he's not really liked IED and he's not really like the Imperial Dragon Knights because he feels they're kind of IED lapdogs as a lot of people in the community do so he's kind of declared a personal vendetta against them uh, Garon's glory has been down here because war is very good for glory um, and as you can see from those clips he was getting a lot of glory I came down for one evening uh, we basically pirated the CG and after the CG finished we popped down here and had some fun because uh, there's a lot of people down here um, we got embroiled in some fighting, we were 6v4, we had 6 people, we had 4 uh, for a period and we did some fighting down here, had some fun, um, had some interesting times, I did a usual tactic of mine when outnumbered and uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but the basic crux of it is Selfish One has a beef with the Imperial Dragon Knights and is attacking them, one lone player, I repeat, one lone player. The Imperial Dragon Knights have called upon the assistance of the 9th Legion and uh, IED to defend their systems because, you know, they couldn't cope with one player attacking them. Uh, in terms of PvP, God knows how it turned into a PvP situation. Um, Salvage One's been spreading some credits around and hiring out some mercenaries and persuading uh, TOC to cause problems down here. And I think that attracted other people. Um, by the time I came down, it was pretty much a war zone. But Selfish Ones assures me this is just purely for salt. He has no aspirations for control of the system. He's not trying to install his own government. He's just basically said he's moved into the system and it's his. And uh, he's going to cause the Imperial Dragon Knights to go into problems just because he can. Um, yeah, he controls the salt, he controls the universe. And uh, at the moment, looking at the comms and the messages I've seen, I would say that he's winning the salt war, that's for definite. He's harvesting way much more salt than the other side are. Um, now this is me being my usual heroic self and legging it. Um, so after I had a torpedo shot at me, I uh, legged it out, drew a few of the enemy out and left my wingmates 3v3. And then I navlocked one of them, jumped up and dropped back 30k behind me uh, to continue with the fighting. I kept the enemy interested by basically juggling pips and slowing down occasionally. And it's got to be said, there's a few members of lawful factions that have kind of a blind spot for me and will hunt me down and come after me, like even if I'm directly running away in a faster ship. So it's a more difficult debate. They're a bit eager for my death. Uh, and basically, we were outnumbered six to four, so drawing some of them away and then dropping down, back down meant we got a uh, 4v3 advantage for a period so that was quite nice we managed to secure a couple of kills and uh, well my colleagues did I, I basically assisted and put out some damage because I'm in the Tiggly um, phasing ship which is great at Tiggling and phasing but it's not really that good at securing kills myself but you know I tiggled away some damage and uh, watched as you know, this guy got absolutely taken out. Oh, is that the leader of the Imperial Dragon Knights? It is. Um, so yeah, the Salt War um, will probably go on a while. Is Garon's glory getting another kill? And um, I don't think the Imperial Dragon Knights have realized what sort of person they're up against. Um, I do not think the Selfish One's going to worry that he's going to lose a round after round of election after election after election. I think more the saltiness is what he's going for and you know watching these guys as they struggle to um, 
keep having to win the same election over and over again might just, you know, just about uh, keep him happy and keep him fed with salt levels. Uh, there was already some salt. Uh, the night before this, we'd popped down and I had a couple of fights with Libby Jambo, and um, Al had a little run in with him, which I'll bring you as the last clip of this video. And um, yeah, he complained that night. Well, he had crimes on that night, and he said it was fine to run crimes. Then he sent me a message saying, you know, people were running crimes, and I was like, you know what? For once, it's not me. Because <laughs> um, I tell him, I didn't know, but I did look and mine were off. I wasn't 100% sure because I never am because I'm terrible at crimes. But, you know, I thought it was interesting. And I obviously commented that when Salfish installs a different government, can he run crimes in the system without you complaining? I don't know. But Salfish one's enjoying harvesting the salt. And I'm sure there's going to be lots more salt to come. So I'll leave it there. Say, that's all. Thanks for watching. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up.